All right, so here, here am I on mid-journey right now, and I can show you how you can imagine landing pages of a specific website. So here, right, I'm going to click Imagine. Add a prompt right there, so Imagine Prompt. And at the prompt, I'm just going to put something like website e-commerce store that sells Nike shoes, UX, UI, and I'm just gonna add an instruction here, V4. Right, V4, and I'm gonna add another instruction, stylize 500. Just follow the instructions, by the way, and, and okay, so, all right, I think that's good. So right now, it's going to generate me but there is a problem with my instruction, I guess. You can see that there are some other people doing this as well. So right here, if you check this, some other people are doing this. So I can copy their, their stuff here and I can just copy their code and just use it. So I'm gonna copy the code here. And if I click on this, you can see that they're actually doing the same thing. These are, these are designers that are taking full advantage of this, this AI tool to make incredible designs for landing pages for people. All right, so instead of shopping here, I'm gonna say best website for shopping, Nike shoes, All right? Nike shoes, UX UI, and okay, so that's it. And I'm just gonna enter. So right now, all right, I, didn't, I failed to add the imagine, I'm sorry, so I failed to add the imagine instruction. So I'm gonna add the imagine instruction right now, and I'm just gonna add my instruction over there. So right now it is actually running the instruction in the back end. And uh, just follow the syntax, okay? So follow the syntax on the uh, the thing right there. And what it's doing right now, it's actually working in the back end to generate me a design for a shopping website that sells Nike shoes. And I can later on take that website and I can take that photo, right? And I can take it and use it on a website such as Editor X, so that I can start, you know, creating amazing websites, right? So I got the message. That's why I got that quick message there. So I'm gonna go here. All right, so they got me, they got me some variations here. So here you can choose which variation you like best. So I think the first one is good. So I'm gonna upscale the first variation. Now, of course, when you upscale the first variation, you can create more variations from it. And I'm gonna show you that in a second. All right, so it's doing that right now. It's working on it. And usually when your design is ready, it's gonna send you a, a message. It's, it's, not a, it's just a sound that you're gonna to have to watch out for, the Discord usual sound that you get when you get a new message. And so we're waiting for it now. All right, so some other people are also using this, making the most of it. A beautiful website for shopping, you know, uh, smartphones. All right, that's that's just wonderful. Now it's not shopping smartphones, but it's a, a a mobile version of the design. Now these are, like I said, these are designers that are using it using this tool. So there you go. I got my image. So you might be asking me, well, what can I do with this image now that we got it? Now you can take this image. You can download it first but you have to take it to a tool like Photoshop. And what I can just recommend you to do, because I'm not gonna do a full tutorial about this, is you can take this image right here, you can scale it, you can make it, you can, you can just scale it, and you can remove these pieces of text over here, right? So you can remove these pieces of text and the pieces of text at the top. And what you can do with it, you can basically put it on this tool for example, if I pick maybe, all right, so let's edit this here. Even though I'm not a professional website editor, but I'm just showing you some of the stuff that this can do. So let's just wait for this. And after that's opened, you can change the background entirely of this. So there is a background that's already there. You can either click here, add image and change the background basically to one of the images that are out there on here on their library, or you can upload your own image. Now, like I said, this image, which we have just downloaded now, 
is only a pretty much a sample, right? It, it's not it's not completely a hundred percent optimized. So you're gonna have to use a tool such as Photoshop to remove stuff and to optimize it and to and to produce the size that you want for your image. But let's just run the experiment right now, and I'm uploading the design here. Now it's being uploaded in the background and you can click change background now, right? Right, so, and you can see that the image was added. Now, of course, there's a lot that you need to modify here. Now, you, need, you can make it bigger, make it smaller, whatever, but I'm not a designer. I'm just showing you some of this stuff that these guys are doing. So next, as another bonus, I can show you how you can use ChatGPT to create your Facebook ad script. Right, so if you're wanting, if you want to run a Facebook ad that's successful to get so much clicks, you can use ChatGPT and it will write the ad for you. 